We're here to educate jurors about their rights. The right to vote according to your conscience. And if you think that the law is immoral or unjust, to vote not guilty and acquit the defendant. Many people don't know that the jury cannot be tried for their verdict. And a verdict of not guilty is as good as gold. And with the standard of double jeopardy, a defendant cannot be charged twice for the same offense. So even if the law may say that a person is guilty, as soon as the jury votes not guilty, that person is permanently freed. Unfortunately nowadays, over 90% of court cases never are seen before a jury. This is because the defendants are forced to plea bargain. And we want to try to bring back the confidence that defendants have in the jury system so that people will ask for a jury trial and then maybe they'll be uh, exonerated by the course of law. Oh, hello, uh, yeah, this is Dredson from Media Skeptic. You know, I'm here to let everybody know about this uh, campaign that we're on today. To inform people of their rights as a jury of jury nullification. Jury nullification is basically their right to actually nullify a law if it's unjust or being implied in an unjust manner. And basically what we're telling people out here today is that, you know, if people were to vote exactly the way the law is written, the way the judge actually uh, instructs them, someone like Rosa Parks would have been sentenced to jail because she broke the law by sitting down in the front of the bus. But that law in itself is unjust, which means so anyone supposed to vote with their conscience on a jury would actually vote not guilty in that particular instance. Also, if a law is being implied in a way which it was not intended, you know, like someone with a gun that shoots somebody in self-defense, you know, or someone trying to shoot and kill somebody with a gun, and he actually shoots and defends himself. That person shouldn't be convicted because they weren't supposed to have a gun if it was found that they actually saved their lives or saved the lives of others. That law wasn't intended to be used in that manner, and that's when the uh, jury should actually vote in their actual conscience and not the way that the judge instructs them. They already told us, came and warned us a few times today, you know, they came and told us once, hey, you gotta move your table, and you gotta move it again, then they've come out and saying, uh, we heard you're giving this stuff directly to juries. You know if you're doing that, we're gonna have to arrest you for jury tampering. They're like, no, we're not. We're handing it to everybody. If it just happens so to land in the jury's hand, hey, I, I have nothing to do with that. You know, this is everyone's constitutional right as an actual juror, and this is something they have been being, being kept from them for many, many years, so.